What is going on guys, Joel here, back with another video and today we're switching things up and going Windows. So HP was awesome enough to reach out and ask if I wanted to check out their Pavilion X360 convertible laptop alongside their Pavilion 27XW monitor, so I was like, hey, let's do it. A fun fact is that my very first laptop back in high school and going into college was actually an HP laptop, so I was very pumped to check this one out and see how HP has evolved over the past few years. So this here is HP's Pavilion X360 laptop. Now while it may look like your normal laptop, it's more than that. We'll go into more detail of what I mean by that later in the video, but the Pavilion X360 is packing a seventh generation Intel Core i5-7200U processor chip. It is dual core clocking in at 2.5 gigahertz and can max up to 3.1 gigahertz. So while it is a dual core processor, you can still expect it to have powerful performance and keep up with your multitasking needs. Alongside this, we have 8GB of DDR4 SD RAM, a 1TB 5400 RPM SATA hard drive, giving you enough storage space to store your music, videos, photos, and documents for easy access. Now looking around the laptop on the side, we have our ports, with one of them being the power port. We also have an HDMI out, two USB 3.0 ports, a USB-C port, and our SD card slot. On the other side, we have our power on button, our Kensington lock, our headphone jack, and our volume up and down buttons. Now, one of my favorite features of the Pavilion X360 is that it is more than just your standard laptop. The X360 gets its name because it has a 360 degree screen, allowing you to convert it in various display modes. So whether you wanna type up a document, play your favorite game, or just sit back and binge watch Netflix or YouTube videos, you can do all of that in any mode you'd like. This comes in handy either when you are traveling, or you're in class, or just wanna lay in bed and watch videos. Out of the box, the Pavilion X360 comes with Windows 10, so with these convertible display modes, it allows multitasking and being productive a breeze. Now, speaking of multitasking and being productive, HP also sent over their Pavilion 27XW monitor. This here is a 27-inch IPS display with a full HD 1920 by 1080 resolution with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Now this monitor does have some amazing viewing angles with consistent high color fidelity and it's ultra thin. On the back it has a VGA port along with two HDMI ports and it is all sitting on this open wedge stand. Personally, I enjoy working off a larger display as it helps me be a lot more productive, allowing me to have various screens open, for example, on this large 27 inch monitor and having an external monitor or dual screens, whether you're using your external monitor and your laptop monitor, I feel it is very beneficial for many users, whether you are in school and having to do some research, for example, or need to get some business work done, it suits many for their needs. So whenever I do this, if I'm working on two monitors or just a big old monitor like this, I use an external keyboard and mouse so it feels like I'm working off a desktop but the benefits with this is that I can easily have everything on the go because I'm working directly from my laptop. So all my information is of course saved to that. I just go ahead and unplug it from my monitor and then I'm out the door. And with the X360 being able to turn into a tablet, I can continue my work, either type on a keyboard or convert it into this tablet mode. So it feels like productivity is written all over this type of computer. So the HP Pavilion X360 is pretty much an all-in-one machine. It can serve as a regular laptop, you can convert it into a tablet, and it's powerful enough to be used with an external monitor. If you're looking for something to be productive and get some work done, I think this is something to consider and check out. But I wanna know your thoughts. Do you think you'd find more use using something like the HP Pavilion X360 that allows you to have a laptop and tablet all in one? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Other than that, that is gonna wrap it up for this video. As always, if you did enjoy this kind of video, let me know by hitting that like button down below as it not only lets me know that you enjoyed this video, but it also supports the channel. And if you're not following me yet on social media like Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook, I'll leave all of those below in the description. That way you can be up to date with what is going on. And lastly, if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified when I drop my next video. And when you do subscribe, be sure to hit that notification bell so you can be notified on your mobile device when my video is up. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Appreciate your support very much. 
but I will catch you all on the next one. All right. Peace.